We have called this press conference today uh, mainly to highlight the uh, many new uh, newly constructed government buildings are not big, are not accessible for persons with disability and they are in violation of the rights of persons with disabilities act 2016 the state disaster management authority recently had a meeting of the disaster management preparedness of the authorities but unfortunately they have not taken the issues of persons with disabilities into consideration section 8 of the rights of persons with disabilities act uh, mandates that the state government uh, should uh, do things for the prepared uh, for the uh, persons with disabilities but uh, we have received information that the cyclone shelters which have been constructed in uh, each and every taluka of the state is not accessible for persons with disabilities we have also received information that the new panchayat girls which are uh, constructed by the rais magus panchayat the goavelia panchayat and the sodium cioli panchayat is also not accessible for persons with disabilities now this is clearly in violation of the rights of persons with disabilities act and they need uh, has to be an accountability on the part of the uh, government officers uh, who are who are not only sanctioning these plans of inaccessible buildings but they are also sanctioning the payments to the contractors so we are demanding an inquiry into the matter as to how these uh, government public buildings newly constructed have been uh, uh, constructed without being accessible for persons with disabilities in violation of all the laws and also how the bills have been sanctioned the payments to the contractors have been sanctioned in this matter uh, we have written to the state disability commissioner on the matter we have written to the chief secretary and the honorable uh, chief minister on this matter there is no point in organizing purple fest and spending crores of rupees on the purple fest if the newly constructed government buildings are not going to be accessible for persons with disabilities we have also uh, written to the honorable uh, uh, governor uh, on the uh, sanjay school vocational center issue which has not yet re, uh, restarted as of date as you know the next week the new academic year is starting and in september 23 the sanjay center vocational center uh, sanjay school vocational center was closed uh, because of the building was not safe and for the last 8 to 9 months the uh, students have been at home uh, causing them lot of uh, a lot of uh, health and anxiety issues so we have uh, written to the honorable governor to just look into the matter to ensure that the vocational center starts at the earliest uh, and uh, lastly we would like to say that we are thankful to the state disability commissioner for coming out with an order which says that the grants of uh, uh, schools which are not uh, giving admission to persons with disabilities should be uh, should be terminated at the earliest so in accessible issues which you mentioned is from north goa is there any problem in south goa south goa at present only cyclone shelters we know of mm-hmm. other buildings we are not aware of okay but there has to be an accountability on these public buildings and i think uh, they should uh, this government department should take an noc from the state disability commissioner uh, and the state disability commissioner should check whether the buildings are accessible or not as per the uh, rights of persons with disabilities act before sanctioning the uh, payment to the contractor also accessibility for pu- uh, public buildings does not just mean putting a ramp at the entrance there has to be a lift there has to be accessible toilets there has to be reserved parking there has to be braille and tactile signages as per the provisions of the disabilities act 2016 have you done any letters in panchayat regarding this last time we had written to the panchayats but this time we want the state disability commissioner to take it up